Let's look closely at the pie chart and scatter plot configuration in the fourth part of the webinar about Trans Analytics functionality. A pie chart shows how the total amount is divided between categories, like a circle where each category is represented by a slice of a pie. Configuration of the pie chart is following. The sector value section contains a field that defines the amount of something measurable. In our case, we will use energy consumption. The sector name section defines how data is split into multiple categories. We will use buildings list. Now we will be able to find out that a startup building is the top consumer around our campus. Also, we can analyze the yearly energy consumption by months. So now we can investigate and find out some insights about the patterns of consumption. Let's move on to the scatter plot. A scatter plot shows the dependency between the few variables of your topology. It uses dots to represent values for different variables. There are several configurations of the scatter plot. You can compare two dimensions. In this case, you will use only x and y axis. You will drag and drop the fields of the interests. So now we will add heat consumption field and energy consumption. From already familiar topology. But in the case when more than two dimensions should be compared, we can group measurements by multiple fields and apply different colors to each group. So we will add the floors into series section and we'll find out that the first and the second floor is the top consumers around our campus. So we need to trigger some inspection and to eliminate this inefficiency. Stay tuned, we will continue.